guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. You, you better like and subscribe because this video is awesome. This is my theory how the solar system, how our solar system formed. So let's do this! Yay! There was once a star. It was very lonely. The big star had no friends because, well, he didn't have any planets his goal is to get eight planets maybe even nine but he hadn't but he didn't make any progress it was just in space in the milky way galaxy doing nothing until one day he's at in, in the corner of his eye he saw a big rocky circle at first he thought it was just a, a like a a circle asteroid just passing by until it began to get closer to the star could this be it could he get he, could he finally get a friend the planet started to get closer he named the, pla the planet Mercury. He finally has a little planet friend to talk to. But one day, he saw something yellow in the corner of his eye again. He saw the yellow circle. He thought it was, it was just a star passing by. But it looked quite small. The star began to get closer until he realised it wasn't a star. It was another planet. It came into the star's orbit and he named the yellow planet Venus. He saw another planet. It was big. It started to go into the into the orbit of that star with the two other planets. It got closer and closer. The ice on the planet melted away as soon as it went into its orb or into the sun's or the star's orbit. The star had three planets, but he wanted eight still. Until one day, he saw yet another, another planet. At first, he thought it was another star passing by, but he was wrong. This was about to be his fourth planet. It began to get closer and closer until he realised it was a planet. He now had four planets: Mercury. Venus, Earth, and Mars. At that time, at that time, Earth didn't have any land until one day, some oceans began to get deeper for some reason, and loads of bubbles formed on the Earth. The Earth had land underneath water. Some of the land began to rise up, and it's and some of it turned into grass. What on one on some parts of the earth that it turned into desert into deserts. The sun was happy. After a few years, it saw yet another thing in the corner of his eye. He saw such a big thing. It was nearly the size of the sun, but it was too small. He thought it was another star because of how huge it was. But when it began to get closer, that the star started to realise it was another planet. He named the fifth planet that was really big and had a big red storm. He called that planet Jupiter and the big red storm, the, the great red spot. 
he had five planets and the reason why he called the fifth planet Jupiter is because Jupiter rhymes with with giant giant Jupiter Jupiter giant so that's the reason why the star called the biggest planet so far Jupiter after, after 10 years the, the star and all the planets looked directly at something else it was beautiful it had rings Jupiter has rings but they're very faint but this planet had really really cool and beautiful rings the planet started to go towards the Sun it then began to orbit the star then called the big but smaller than Jupiter with beautiful rings Saturn the star was very happy he started off with no friends and was very lonely and wanted eight planets now look at him he's got six friends but he doesn't have eight planets he just needed two more planets and then something so cool in the corner of the sun's eye yet again he saw some something very blue it was rotating on its side he could he could barely see its rings they were very faint like jupiter's at first he thought it was a star because some stars can actually be balloons because they're so hot so the star started to panic because he thought that that star would take all his planets and ruin his dream to get eight planets then have no and then he w won't have any friends but boy he, was he lucky it was an ice giant when he realized that planet was an ice giant he started to he started to pull it into his into his orbit and he was relieved it was rotating on its side again still it was very stinky so he just so he decided to call it uranus and that name is funny for a bunch of reasons but let's just ignore that he was one shot he had seven planets he just wanted one more planet until he saw another ice giant he started to get very excited, yay! And started to pull he, that planet into his orbit. So he would have eight planets and he would be very happy. The eighth and final planet he has now gotten, he named it Neptune. He was very happy. At last, he had four rocky planets and four gas giants. Then, life began to form on Earth. They went exploring. They, they discovered the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, because they live on it. They also discovered Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And they also discovered the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. And they also discovered the Kuiper belt and the Oak cloud. And they also discovered Saturn's rings and Jupiter's great red spot. And they discovered all their moons, like Titan's, like Saturn's new moon named Titan, Jupiter's moon named, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know any. And they discovered that, U that Uranus and Neptune had moons, and even 
Mars had two moons named, uh, I forgot their names again, but they looked like asteroids and they were orbiting Mars and the solar system lived happy ever after. And this is where my solar system series starts. Subscribe if you want to see more. Goodbye.